What's good, YouTube? This is Shaw Crenshaw back again with another video on the ATL DA, who is in charge of Young Thug's case. Fannie Willis claims that there are two more RICO indictments that are coming for popular rappers in Atlanta for high profile gangs in Atlanta. It's an in depth gang investigation. Recent months, you've had two high profile gang racketeering cases. There are going to be more. Over oh, the next 60 days, you'll see two more. Now, for me, I'm happy about this shit. I'm glad that as a community, we're finally starting to clean up the mess in our community. I'm I'm happy that as black folks, we're finally saying enough is enough with this gang shit. Enough is enough. Our cities deserve to be peaceful. Black people in America have been through enough in this country. We don't need to be offing one another at this point. We don't need to be destroying one another at this point. We don't need to be killing one another at this point. And if we gotta get these high profile gangs up out of here through RICO, then so be it. So be it. These, re these gangs operate at with impunity damn near when it comes to the black community. The black community looks like get they, we look at getting rid of these gangs as some sort of a, of a blaspheme, some sort of disrespect to the community. When the reality is these dudes operate with impunity and do nothing but violate the safety, the order, and just the overall progress of our community. So for Fannie Willis to come in and say, I'm cleaning up the streets of Atlanta, Atlanta needs to be grateful to her. Because if I recall correctly, the majority of black cities in this country are in a fucking heap of a shit show. It don't look good. Let's keep it a hundred. New York, drill rap is taking over. These niggas is slaughtering each other. Chicago, we don't even gotta get into that. Detroit, Milwaukee. Let's be honest. There's absolute chaos all over black America. Atlanta is the last stand for black wealth, the black community, the black upper class, the black middle class. Atlanta is the final bastion of black American excellence in this country. Let's keep it a hundred. And Fannie Willis is doing everything in her power to maintain that. And a lot of y'all in the community don't understand that. You're hypnotized by the entertainment and you're hypnotized by the entertainment industry. You're hypnotized by music. You're hypnotized by rappers. You think that rappers and entertainers make these cities function. You think that rappers and entertainers are the pinnacle of society, the pinnacle of what black people should aspire to be. I'm sorry, but the DAs, the sheriffs, the senators, the governors, the mayors, the elected officials, these are the people that really run the city and the state of Georgia. The city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia, the existence of these institutions, the existence of these cities and these states are run by the elected officials, the government. And what good are our elected officials and governments if they are not capable of getting rid of poisonous elements in our community that operate with impunity and have the support of millions of people in the country through their music? Now, the only thing that pisses me off about this is the fact that a black woman had to be the one to do this and not a black man. Why is it that we as black men, and I'm not one of those anti-black men people on the internet, black men this, black men that, but I need to point this out because we have to talk about this. Why is it that we as black men are lagging behind to such an extent that a black woman has to be the one to grab her balls and say, and put them on the table and say, if y'all fans want to threaten me and kill me, I don't give a damn. If y'all fellow gang members want to threaten to kill me, I don't threaten to kill me, try to try to kill me. I don't give a damn. I'm getting your ass up out of here. I'm cleaning up the community. Why is this woman doing boss man shit? Where are we at as black men? What is going on? Because the reality is we're the ones perpetrating and perpetuating the violence and the destruction. And a black woman has to be the one to come along and clean up behind us. This is embarrassing. This is disgusting. As men, we're supposed to be the harbingers and the bringers of order and stability in our community. We're supposed to be the vanguards of, of order, of stability, of, of just functionality. We're supposed to be the ones that make everything work. We're supposed to make sure that everything is stable, the community is safe, the kids are safe, criminals ain't running rampant, everything is in order. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. I'm not saying women shouldn't be allowed to be in these positions or occupy these positions or anything of the sort. But what I am saying is that as black men, we should be at the forefront, the absolute forefront of the battle against toxicity in the black community, the toxicity in black culture, gang culture. We should be at the forefront on a legal level, 
on a cultural level, we are at the forefront. You got people like Charleston White, Hassan Campbell. I understand that. But on a cultural level, I understand that we're, we're, we're where we need to be. But on a legal level, we're not there. We're not occupying positions of power to, to persecute these guys, to get these guys out of the way, to prosecute them, to get them the fuck out of the way. We're not in these positions of power. We're lagging behind. We're not prosecuting these guys. We're not getting them out of the way. We got to do better. We're the ones perpetuating the violence and instilling chaos. We have to be the opposite of that. How else could we call ourselves men? How can we call ourselves men when we're the harbingers of chaos and disorder? That's associated with feminine energy. The masculine is supposed to have order and stability and consistency. So if us as black men are bringing nothing but chaos and disorder and a black woman has to be the one to walk in and put her foot down and say, y'all can threaten me, y'all can threaten to shoot me, y'all can threaten to hang me, whatever it is y'all want to do, go on ahead and type it on Twitter. I don't give a damn. I'm going to do what I'm going to do regardless. I'm going to do what I got to do regardless. Y'all go on ahead and go on the internet and threaten me in the name of Young Thug and YSL and get yourselves locked up threatening the, the sheriff of Fulton County and all kind of fuckery. Go on ahead and do what you want to do. I'm still going to stand 10 toes down and get my business done. That right there, unfortunately, isn't being done by a black man. And that's my only issue with this situation. So I'm glad that Fannie Willis is, is cleaning up the community. I'm glad. Gunna Thug has, has been on his best behavior in jail, but this uh, allegedly Gunna has having nurses bringing in drugs into the jail for him. So he's sitting there saying, please give me bond, but he can't even follow the law inside the jail. Come on, bro. These dudes are being have been given opportunity after opportunity to do it right and have chosen to terrorize and destroy the community. It's a fact. It's a fact. So for all of you out there that are anti Fannie Willis, y'all need to get y'all's head checked. Y'all need to get y'all's mind reevaluated. Y'all need to reevaluate the way that you think. Because the reality of the situation is she is cleaning up a community that deserves better. The black community deserves better. The black community has been through hell and high water from slavery to, to, to post civil war destruction, reconstruction violence, Jim Crow mass incarceration the crack epidemic we've been through it all we don't we shouldn't be our worst enemies right now and fanny willis is saving us from that y'all got to get credit where credit's due like comment subscribe i'm out